Hey guys, what's happening? Joe Simpson here, Tech Wake TV, and I'm coming at you today, and I have to be honest right up front before anybody gets too mad at me. There is no hack, there's no secret. That was total clickbait, and I just wanted to get you here so I could talk to you a little bit about lighting. And we need to just realize that not every camera can do everything. Um, and when it comes to low light, the only thing you can do to combat the high ISO is to add light. I mean, come on guys, I mean, we all know the story. And I know the Sonys make cameras that are amazing and they can go really low with the ISO and still get a pretty clean picture, but that still doesn't mean that there's not gonna be color shifting or some other artifacts are gonna come about due to the fact that the camera's just unnaturally trying to boost and gain uh, light that's not there. I run my G9 at about 400 ISO when I do desk recordings. Right now that is not happening. I'm set at 1600 ISO. I'm using natural window light and I've got my computer monitor screen shining. And it's not a terrible, terrible picture, um, but it's nowhere near what I like and how I set it up. So let's take 10 seconds and I can show you for around 50 or 60 bucks how you can combat the low ISO. And, and you know what, by increasing light, you're also gonna increase the capabilities of your camera's autofocus. You're gonna increase um, the, the likelihood that the colors are gonna resolve and look a lot better and more accurate. Um, you're gonna light the whole room instead of just your face. There's so many advantages to having light. Okay guys, here I am on my SL2 and I'm just gonna walk around my office here. First thing you wanna start doing is start turning on some lights. Um, back here, you can see that I have a desk area. It's not very neat, I apologize, but those background lights really help my image. And then the other thing I do is I come over here to this desk lamp and I cut this on. And those lights aren't in for anything other than just really accent in the background. Another thing that I like to do, and I would like to introduce you first of all to these lights that I use. They're made by Neewer. This is the CN160. It's 160 LED light. I think you can get two of these for 50 bucks, three of them for like 70. I'll link you below for what these things cost. Um, I put up three of these. Now they come with these little uh, diffuser bonnets that you can put on these lights. And when it's mounted on there, they look kind of like that and that helps diffuse the light and make it look a little softer when it hits your face. Now this one here, I don't really need the diffusion. They have diffusion panels that come on it. They're little plastic panels that slide in and out, uh, but I don't need that necessarily. And these take the, uh, the Sony batteries. Right now I have a smaller Sony battery in the back. It lays with the profile, but I have big ones that I charge on this charger and they'll last for weeks and days. And so for this background, as you're looking at this background area, I have the light over here on the side and these lights over here, but I like to have a little, what I call a kicker light. Um, and I cut this on real bright and I set it right behind my chair and it naturally just sits at an angle that lights up that, that white door. And you'll see how that comes into play when I sit down. Now these other lights, I just stick them. I don't like having a big light set up. So I set these other lights up on this monopod and I just kind of lean it, prop it against the desk and the lamp and I turn that one on as bright as it will go, and that lights up the desk area. And then I come over here, and I turn this one on next to the monitor, because that's kind of a natural point of light. And I'll turn this one on to just a little bit brighter than what normal flat or the lowest setting would be. So now let's jump back over to the desk. You can already see the ambient light in this room is just way higher, and it looks a lot better. But let's jump on the desk, let's get in front of the camera, and I'll show you how this stuff looks. So this picture is going to be really dark because what I'm going to do is I'm going to build my lighting scheme piece by piece. The first thing I'm going to do is add the light over by the desk, right over my shoulder. You can immediately see that that helps in the background lighting right away. And now let's do the lamp. So with the lamp and the other light lit in the background, it's not really helping my face any, but it's starting to give you some uh, background and definition to the room. So let me show you what the kicker light behind the chair on the door looks like. So that looks pretty good. I think the kicker light on the door, the background, everything looks really nice, but it's still not gonna help my face at all. So let's cut on the key light right over here by the lamp and start to get my face brightened up a bit. Now we're starting to get somewhere. This may look okay to whoever is watching and whoever's looking at this might say, hey, a little bit of shadow on your face looks great. I don't really like the, the shadow on my nose and stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up this other light, which is in front of my monitor. Okay, so at this point, I'm pretty happy with the way things are lit up. I've got the kicker light behind my chair, the two lights for the background. 
one at my computer monitor and I've got one over here above, which is full blast. And this is really how I record most of my setups. One major important thing, guys, that I totally forgot to tell you is to set your white balance. Okay, guys, when you're setting white balance on a Panasonic camera, all you have to do is come over here and select white balance on top of the camera and you select the white set. Now I use a checker card. It can be either the white side or the gray side. I typically use the gray and I try to set it in the location that's gonna be where the lights are hitting it the strongest, like my face. And then I do that. And once you touch that button, the white balance and my face and skin tone should be balanced out very nicely. So what is the hack to the ISO noise that you experience in a Lumix G9? Add light. That's the truth of it, and that's the honest answer, and you guys need to get to grips with all this stuff because you could sit here and buy ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 cameras all day long, and you could still run into the same issue, and even the nicest cameras are going to look way better with proper lighting. So that's my fix. That's my hack. I'm sorry I might have misled you to come to this video, but hopefully you got something from it. I'm going to link you below with these lights that you can pick up for real cheap and do the same thing that I'm doing. Check that out. Get some of those for yourself. Set it up and make yourself look a little bit better on camera. And I hope this helped you guys. Keep coming back to TechWake. I'm going to have more tips and tricks coming up in the future. You guys have a great weekend. I'll talk to you soon.